Hello Capsulea, my name is Gildy and welcome to EVE Online. Welcome back to the second part of the Defensive Modules Highlight. If you didn't watch the first part, I highly recommend you do, as it includes the most common and popular of the Defensive Modules. This video will cover some of the modules that might not be considered defensive, usually, as well as ones that have quite niche uses. So without further ado, let us begin. First, an interdiction nullifier, commonly used in nullsec, wormholes, pochpen, and recently finding use in factional warfare lowsec systems that got corrupted to 100%. That is because the above systems allow for the use of bubbles. To make it quick, bubbles do not allow you to warp out if you are inside of them, and if you land on grid with a bubble directly on your warp path, you will hit it blocking you from warping off. If you want to know more about their mechanics, check out my video about running bubble camps. Interdiction Nullifier is a module that allows you to run through the bubbles as if they were not there. What is more, you can turn it on while you are still under the effect of Gate Cloak, but Gate Cloak only, and you just need to hit Warp before the activation time of the module runs out in order to either get out of the current bubble or ignore the other ones on your destination. Activation times go from 10 seconds at tech 1 to 15 seconds at tech 2. It is recommended to use the tech 1 version for most ships as they will align under 10 seconds. One example of an exception would be a deep space transport ship that might need to perform a micro warp drive cloak jump trick, so turning on the module before you start with a tech 1 will not be the best option. But you could try either doing it in a way where you hit the nullifier just after you uncloak and hit warp, or get a compact or a tech 2 nullifier that increases the runtime so you can hit it still under the gate cloak and then go through the whole process. So the recommendation to mostly use the Tech 1 module comes from the fact that the Tech 1 has the shortest reactivation delay, which is the module's first drawback. 100 seconds at Tech 1, 130 for meta modules, reaching 150 seconds at Tech 2. Other passive penalties for this module are Drone bandwidth reduced by 50%, Scan resolution reduced by 50% and maximum targeting range reduced by also 50%. All the disadvantages are lowered by 80% by certain interceptors, which makes it possible to make them very efficient scouts, nullifying on each gate they pass through. Second module, which can allow you to break away from ganks, is the micro jump drive. It's a great little module which can be put on deep space transport ships battle cruisers, and its big version can also be put on battleships. After a spool time of 12 seconds, which can be reduced by training micro jump drive operation skill, you are jumped 100 km in the direction the ship was aiming at when you hit the module, keeping your direction and speed. The counter to this module is a warp scrambler, which will break the module activation. However, if they are just disrupting you, you're free to jump around. The drawback here is that the moment you turn on the micro jump drive on, you get a 150% bonus to your signature radius, making you way easier and faster to lock. The other drawback is a reactivation time of 180 seconds for the module, so you better use it wisely. Next on the list is a way to get those annoying kiting ships that try to tackle you at 36 km, because once more, if someone cannot lock you, they cannot hold you. Remote Sensor Dampener, because that is the module I have in mind, is a great module for PvP, allowing you to deny your enemy the ability to lock you or slowing down their lock speed, giving you an advantage in fight. The same goes for trying to break someone's lock to warp off. Dampener, when unscripted, takes away 13.7% of the enemy locking range and scan resolution at Tech 1 variant, and up to 15.3% at Tech 2. Signal Suppression is a skill that allows you to increase its effectiveness, giving you 5% bonus to effectiveness per skill level. But that's not all. If you put in a script into the module, which is used like ammo, but it does not get used up when you fire up the module, you take away one of the bonuses, but double the other. 
so you can suddenly cut over 30% of enemy lock range and warp off, proud that you made a fool of them. Now in the second part of the video, let's talk about preventing ganks once more. There are two modules that I found that can help you in certain scenarios, but they are not very commonly used. First is your sensor booster. What does it do exactly and how is that supposed to help you? Well, it increases your scan resolution that helps you lock things faster as well as targeting range by 25% at tech 1 and 30% at tech 2. Moreover, it increases your sensor strength by 40% at tech 1 and 48% at tech 2, which helps you prevent being ECM'd. What is interesting, your sensor strength together with your signature radius affect everyone else's ability to scan you using combat probes. The bigger the signature radius of course, the easier to scan the target down. However, if you have a higher sensor strength, it will be harder to scan you down. You can see a little presentation on the screen right now with over-exaggerated example where I am trying to scan down a venture. If it starts running a micro op drive, it's easier to scan down as the signature radius blows up. However, if I got scanned to 100% and stopped doing that, but instead turn on two sensor boosters with ECCM scripts that put all the bonuses into sensor strength, you suddenly lose your grip on that ship, making it harder to scan down. And lastly, what I wanted to show off is a module that should help owners of big ships that sometimes need to get through a bad neighborhood. Signature Radius Suppressor is a module that could help you push through a gate camp if you are doing a micro warp drive cloak jump trick, or try to burn back to gate with oversized prop mod, or as it is sometimes used, make sure enemies take a few more seconds to lock you before you can recloak in a Black Ops battleship. From what I know, it can be also used to lower the damage taken from bombs and missiles. Why is that? Because this module passively lowers your signature radius by 10%, which is not a lot, but if you turn the module on, you get 70% signature radius reduction, making a Raven have a signature between a cruiser and a destroyer. Limitation of this module is that only battleships, black ops and marauders can fit it, and once more, as with most defensive modules, it has a reactivation timer of 150 seconds, so you can use it once and pray it was enough. And that is it when it comes to modules that can save your life. Let me know if you found any others that can help with breaking up ganks or avoiding them. I'd love to see if you know of any modules that I have maybe missed. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to see my future uploads. If you are interested in what I will talk about next, my videos go up every Sunday. And if we never see each other again in space capsulia, fly safe.